James Wandis, James the Wine Guy. This beautiful wine is from Argentina. I have reviewed a good number this year, but this is truly the best blend of Malbec Cabernet Sauvignon. Stay tuned for this review. last Argentinian red wine for this year. It is probably the best example and it's what I strive to take. What I am tasting are things that I think are, you know, generally 100% Malbec, which for me is, I will tell you, I, I review them as fairly as possible. It is not my style. It is something that I think as I started tasting uh, Malbec, I really loved it, enjoyed it and appreciated it. And I still do appreciate it, especially on the higher end scale. And there is a difference. The difference is, you know, better fruit, uh, better winemaking style that is not mass produced uh, Malbec. And I think there's a, a, a better story for that that is a smaller production of Malbec. But that is, again, dependent on producer by producer. Here's what we have, it's called Caro. Now this is a production of Domaine Baron de Rochille, Lafitte and uh, Nicolas uh, Catena. Uh, Caro, 2013 vintage. Back panel for your inspection here. Now this wine is 50% Malbec, 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, and uh, this wine is a 14.5% ABV. Why I love this wine and appreciate it so much is I'm not over assorted on the Malbec. It's not a Malbec bomb, so to speak. It is a nice partnership. And that's really, a believe it or not, hard to achieve in terms of the winemaking styles that we're tasting and imported from uh, Argentina. So this is that really beautiful marriage of Bordeaux varieties coming together where one does not overtake the other. So in Argentina's Mendoza, you have amazing Bordeaux varieties beyond Malbec. And I'm not you know, putting down Malbec, but I think that it does a great job of Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Petit Verdot. Fantastic. So here's what we have is this uh, sculpted wine. I'll put more in my wine glass because that's what is required in terms of this wondrous tasting. And uh, so I think this again is that uh, refinement and something that I think is just evocative and beautiful and uh, something to look forward to. So here's what we have on the scent characterization. First a point score, 94 points out of 100 points. This is getting notes of rose petal, black red fruit, leather, forest floor, Oud and sandalwood. Mm. And oud is a, a really beautiful uh, wood coming from Asia. It is fantastic and gives some uh, evocative scent characterizations. And here's what we have on the flavor profile. Fantastic and equal treatment of these Bordeaux varieties. Hayberry, black cherry, bay leaf, marjoram, cardamom, and deep red rose petal. I use a lot of rose petal imagery and it's not just to be an image, but it's also to be an evocative Characteristic. So, you know, having a sense of rose is also, you know, that deep sense of that um, dark, dark red rose, and it gives a sense of pepper and, and floral notes and all these beautiful notes. Again, this wine is 94 points out of 100 points. More reviews to come, and, uh, you know, I think there's it's a fantastic wine world we live in. I love tasting wines like this because it gets me very excited. And uh, not, not that I should be excited, I just kind of wasn't expecting it in a way. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, next, uh, because I have so many wines to review, but sometimes you just slow down, you take a moment, you appreciate, and uh, you know, when you taste something special, you note that. So thank you for watching. Stay with me on this great wine journey. Uh, fantastic 2016, more to come. The year is still not over. And uh, more you know, reviews to find on other uh, wine countries around the planet. You'll find me on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. You can also leave comments there on one of the social medias or down below. The like button's down below, so please hit that button. And subscribe's right up here, so please hit that button as well if you haven't done so already. Thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Sante and salud.